Hi Pisces, I'm here with a weekly reading for the sign of Pisces. Um, this reading could resonate with anyone who has Pisces strongly in their chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but it may not resonate with everyone. Hopefully there's something here though that can help you along the way, Pisces, in the week to come. Let's go ahead and um, get started here. All right, my friends, let's get going. Um, in addition, I am doing uh, personal readings again, Capricorn, so if there's anything I can do to help you, uh, feel free to look uh, um, at the link in the video description box um, um, to get to the store. Oh, look, this one, this one tried to come out. Nine of Wands tried to come out. Whew. I had a, car, a flipper flip over. Uh, we have the Three of Wands not coming out on the table, um, but it flipped over in this section right after the Nine of Wands. Here we have the Seven of Swords. All right. Okay, let's see what we've got here, Pisces. Let's see what we have here. Last two, the last two cards. Last two cards for Pisces. Okay, let's lay them down. We have Five of Cups. We have Four of Swords. Page of Cups. And the Hanged Man. All right, we have the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Swords. The Fool Energy. Nine of Pentacles, and the King of Swords. The, the different signs we have showing up, we have a, a, um, a young watery energy here. It could be a young person, or it could be um, a, a message of love. <laughs> we'll get to that when we come to it. Uh, we have a King of Swords here. This is an energy that you're going to be embodying, Pisces, um, the last half of the week to come. Um, other than that, um, the King of Swords is uh, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius that would be the King of Swords. Uh, so those are the signs we have here. Now, we have to remember this is just a week, so uh, I'll try not to be too dramatic, but sometimes I can get into it and, and maybe make it sound like more than it is Pisces, but for some of you, sometimes these are quite deep. So I'm going to just let it rip and and um, go, go for it. Uh, Pisces, we have you coming into this week in the Nine of Pentacles. Uh, you have a, an independent about you. You have a way of doing things uh, that is really truly your own style and your own way, Pisces. And uh, many of you have found a, a certain level of success that way, I would have to say. Um, this kind of uh, ability that you have to make strong decisions for yourself and to manage yourself in a way that is self uh, a conductor of the self, a self conductor. I don't, that's the first time that's come for is a, a conductor, a musical conductor of the being, of the self. Uh, so you are able to uh, manage yourself, moderate yourself, and, and really carry forward in a way that is, a, it, as, a, as a single individual, you have a certain strength, Pisces, uh, in the beginning of this week. Now, I do think that you have made it to a certain place um, in, in this wave of energy or in this situation that you're in or in this life that you're in Pisces, uh, you have made it to a certain place where you have found safety in that, where you have um, found a way of finding your sense of self through that strength. And we see you now in a time period this week of really looking over the options for yourself, Pisces. Uh, I do think that you have a lot of abilities. You have talents that you carry within you. You have strength that you carry within you, Pisces. And I feel like as you're coming into this week, there is a sense of sadness here, a sense of longing for what maybe was in the past, um, whether it was an old relationship that you're remembering or whether it was a time of life that you're remembering. Um, Sorry, I'm just letting it flow through. <laughs> um, there is some sadness here about the journey that you've had. 
but my friends, it hasn't been all bad. <laughs> uh, that's what I'm feeling here. Like the emotions can sweep through, the fear can sweep through, the sadness can sweep through us. But in all reality, uh, there is a group of Pisces here who have uh, a strength within them that is uh, very um, hard to come by. So Pisces, for this group of you, you have been through quite a lot and you have built that strength up within yourself. And as you're moving forward, I do feel like there is sadness here. But then again, you've found peace in where you are. You have a strength about you that you are um, coming to really trust yourself, Pisces, coming to trust who you are and trust what you know and how you do things. And and that has brought you to a place of peace. Uh, and so there's conflicting emotions and you could feel some aggravation. You could feel some frustration at the situation that you have going on because we have two sevens here. We have the seven of cups and the seven of swords. Um, there are options for you, Pisces. And I think that you're in the process of deciding what to do and how to do it. Um, there are several ways to do this, whatever this is with this seven of cups. There are several ways to do this. I think ultimately you have um, something here that has brought you peace, but now what you do with this, now how you take this forward is really up to you. And there's a quality here that's kind of deep. I have to say, Pisces, I mean, I felt it in the Five of Cups. It's really deep. It, it has a deep longing to it. Um, do you have the strength to do something that is different from everyone else? Do you have the strength to pull forward in front of the crowd? I mean, that's kind of how it feels here. There's like... Um, a, a, uh, there's like a realization that what's to come is going to take that, uh, strong column within you, that strong column of independence, the strong column within you of that, what I call the flexible steel. And you're, you're coming into or you're passing through a period of time that has really cut you to the belly. I mean, I, it's really, um, with the seven of swords and the five of cups or something here that's really uh, a part of this has been troubling Pisces. Let's go into the seven of cups because I think that there's a hopefulness here and a reality here that's for you. Um, it's for you. And I think that you know that Pisces that it's for you. Let's go into the seven of cups because I think that's quite hopeful. The knight of cups. Um, there, there could be love here that's on the table. There could be a new job that's on the table. There could be a new way of doing something that's on the table. But behind it all is a spirit of love. Behind it all is compassion and kindness and um, the desire to do what's best, not only for yourself, but for other people too. Uh, and I think that it is in many ways like something Pisces that's a little bit uh, it's a little bit of a burden here. Or for some of you, it could be a lot of a burden. Uh, but then again, you have the strength, you have the options, you have the ways of doing this. What is the best way? What is the best route? Um, I think you're doing some thinking here. And, and I think you're doing some thinking here about how to do it differently than you've done it before. Uh, with the seven of swords, the, 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 the whole idea of the seven of swords is to is to take what you know, take what you know to be the truth, take what works for you and leave behind the rest. Um, because there has been something here that's shifted Pisces. Like there is a shift that's here. Um, what worked before might not work like it did before. What was okay before might not be what is okay now because something has shifted here with the seven of swords. And I think that it is for your own good. I think these changes you're looking to make are what's best for you and what's best for your family. And I think you're like in many ways, you're narrowing in on, on what truly is your way forward, what other people say, what other people have done, what other people have done to you. All these things have taught you the lessons um, of where you're going next, next Pisces. And I really feel like there is a heaviness. I feel a heaviness is pushing down on the top of my head. That's how I'm feeling um, as I go through this week. In all though, Pisces, you are coming at it in a very strong way. You have a, a deep sense of peace about you. You have a calmness about you. You have learned to relax through it all in many ways. And you have some options here that are going to help you carry your for carry you forward. Um, the question is, when you're burdened by this love and these 
uh, and this kindness and this compassion and the heart center that has been in many ways, like I would have to say destroyed. Pisces, this is just not a weekly reading. I have to just come out and say, this is something that people are doing in the Pisces energy. I don't know where the planets are and what's shifted, but um, I, I just feel like there is a burden here that you're taking on or that you have taken on um, to do whatever you have to do in the most beautiful way, in the most kind way, in the most compassionate way. And I think that it is somewhat of a burden. That said, I think that there's ways that you can do this where um, it's a seven of swords. There's a little bit of, I, I don't want to say trickery. I just want to be very clear. Uh, the way other people have treated you and the way other people are being in this world uh, are, are radiating a certain sense of, um, like, are my standards too high? Can I be doing this a different way? Can I be going outside the system and working with the system, but working outside the system. There's a little bit of realizing here, although you have really tried to the, to do the best thing and you have um, really been guided by your internal self, the people around you or the situations around you might not be so overly kind to that. That's what it feels like. Like you're, you're pushing up against some sort of brick wall, but you still have options in front of you. You still have a place to go. It's just that the energy is very thick right here. It is requiring you to make some sort of change. So Pisces, even though this reading is uh, a little bit deep and the energy is really intense when I'm in it, I do think that during the middle of this week, sometime in the middle of this week, some ideas or some strategies are going to come to you, Pisces, that are going to help you to move forward and make a decision about what you'd like to do with this with this situation. Whether it's a love relationship, whether it's some sort of new job that's coming, whether it's a new business, whether it's a, a relationship that you're working through with someone, uh, um, whether it's something that you're trying to get done at work and the, and the rules and regulations are just stopping you one foot after another, whether you're trying to get a home built and the and the and the local um mu municipality has a lot of rules and restrictions or whatever it is it's like you do know that you have options you're trying to do this and you know to do this with love and with kindness and all that you have um in many ways like built as your foundational behavior uh there is some strategy that you're going to come to in the middle of this week that's going to help you to move forward um it's it's going to be different the, probably from what you originally thought. Uh, most of it will be the same, but I do feel with the Seven of Swords, it comes in with some new ideas that could give offer you some safety and security and, and maybe in some ways, like, give you the quiet, give you the space, give you the the san the sanctuary space to do what it is that you need to do. Because what, when the Seven of Swords is here, that means there has been some sort of um, violation of your progress or some sort of um, uh, like somebody th there has been people coming in in one way or another and stopping progress whether it's the government whether it is your family whether it is the workplace there is something here that is stopping forward motion and it seems like from my perspective it's not fair from your from your perspective and from what I'm seeing here, it's not fair. And you understand you have the ability to move forward. It's just how exactly to do that because it feels like there's some sort of maneuvering here that you're going to be doing. So this is about strategy. This is about looking at all the options and maybe even some of the options that you had that were that are, were off the table or that you decided to put off the table. You might think about the, some of those again and okay now how can I do this what are the real problems here maybe looking at the real problems like okay what are the real hindrances here what what causes this um, slowdown what has created this situation and how do I break through that I think you're looking at all the different choices here and there's some strategy that you're going to going to uh, work out for yourself that's going to help you move forward um, and you could be leaving a couple of things behind you could be adopting a new strategy. You could be saying, you know what? I've done all of this, but this over here, I'm not going to do anymore. This, this over here has caused a lot of problems. I'm going to let that go. Um, but I'm still going to do this and that should work out. Whatever it is, I do think that it's done with a little bit of bitterness. I think it's done with a little bit of hurt feelings. Uh, there's emotion here, but ultimately I think you're able to get through it by the end of the week. Uh, it feels much lighter and much better Pisces. We have the King of Swords here. So you're moving into the King of Swords position 
in the last half of the week. And I do see a great masculine strength here that you're carrying Pisces that you're able to make really good decisions for your, for yourself. You're able to see the truth in your conversations. Um, uh, you, you have, uh, you still have that kindness with you. You still have that compassion that you carry, but this is really about fairness. This is really about what's right for you and what's fair for you and what's going to be good in the future for you. Uh, you are looking at something new here with a fool energy and the fool energy is connected to the page of cups. So there could be a child around you. There could be a, a new love um, opportunity around you, Pisces. It's something that you're looking at with clarity. It's something that you're looking at with fairness, uh, with a sense of respect in many ways. The King of Swords understands that the messages and the people that come towards him are and often sent by the universe or sent from, uh, are, they're, they're, that's how I'm feeling. Like whatever is here for you, it's something that is, has been offered by something special that's happened to you or some special skill that you might have. It is connected in to spiritualism in some way. I can feel that energy here. It's very warm on my hand. So whatever this is with the page of cups, it's something that's very good into this page of cups. It has a lot of energy, a lot of yang energy. Yeah, it's a lot of um, uh, yang energy. Um, what I'm learning, um, no, I'm, it could be connected. I'm just going to say it. It could be connected in um, with the sympathetic nervous system um, that I'm not a doctor. I'm just saying that's how I'm feeling in my body and with the information that's coming in. So this is going to have an effect in within you as well. It's going to affect your emotions. It's going to affect how you feel. It's going to affect your energy level. Let's go into this page of cups or something here. Queen of cups, queen of cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpios, your energy, Pisces, queen of cups, page of cups, over the top of the page of cups. There could be someone around you that has a, a good idea. Um, there could be messages coming in that help you to find strength in what you're doing. Now I'm getting the cards. See, I'm gets caught up in this. It's, it could be something Pisces that totally to takes, because my mind just went, the cards went crazy. My mind kind of went crazy there. There's something here that's coming in, whether it's a message from a young person or a new kind of idea that really inspires you, Pisces, or some sort of communication or a new idea that very much inspires you. It helps you to see the way forward, I have to say. And it's coming in um, in a way that inspires you. It lights you up. It's the medicine that you needed, Pisces. And I, I don't mean literally, although possibly, I don't know. These readings resonate to everyone in a little bit different way. But whatever this is that's coming in, it's going to help to stabilize your emotions. It's going to help with some hurt feelings that you might have here from this situation. Uh, and I think it is going to liven your spirit. It could be an answer to something as well with a page of cups. It has a, the queen of cups connected to it. Uh, so it's connecting into the well-being, um, the self-assuredness of who we are, the emotional stability of who we are, the happiness that we carry within us. It's going to connect into those qualities. You're here in the king of swords. Uh, I think that you've had to be really strong Pisces through this whole time. And sometimes when you're in a very stern position, like a very stern and gritty kind of position, uh, these kind of messages and these kind of people that can come, that can come in and they can affect who we are in such a beautiful way. I think that's going to be the most beautiful mess medicine for you, Pisces, um, towards the end of the week, because you're still in this very strong, decisive, firm position, um, not budging for emotions, not budging for people who ask little things or, or try to manipulate. The King of Swords sees all of that crap. Okay, now I'm getting frustrated because there is something here, Pisces, that has in many ways, um, and even looking at the face of this king, now I'm going to mess up my camera. Uh, I, I feel like there is like this, camera's not working. I knew that was going to happen. 
Um, I, he's just glowering. Like, like you're being so fierce, Pisces. You're fierce this week. It's a fierceness that I feel. There's also softness here within you. This is like a queen of swords. I was going to say, but we have the king of swords. King of swords can do it too, where you have this firm outer edge and, and knowledge that you're moving forward no matter what anyone says, right? No matter what anyone says, you know where you're going, but it takes a lot of strength. It takes a lot of determination to do this kind of thing. And there is something quite lovely that's going to show up here for you or that you're connecting in with that's going to be quite nice. It's going to help with this edginess of the Seven of Swords. We have a Fool energy here with a Hangman. So there's something here that you're looking to do, something that's been on your mind. And I think that's part of this whole thing, Pisces. There's some um, activity, activity or some kind of new project or something that you're doing that you really haven't done before. You might not know how to do it. You might not have any manual for it. Uh, it might be quite new and, and exciting, but also scary. You have the hanged man here connected to the fool. So there is something here that you're looking to connect in with, whether it's new love, whether it's, uh, again, a new project or something. It's something that you haven't done before, and you're realizing that. You're realizing that. And so I think that you're taking a little bit of time and coming up with some sort of a um, coming up with some sort of a plan here the king of swords with the fool energy I mean we have to think about what would when you're embodying this king of swords energy what would what would bring a sense of freshness and a sense of inspiration and anticipation and and moving forward into something new to the king of swords it's something that inspires his mind. It's something that lights up his heart. It gets him into action. It gets him thinking again. It brings in his visions of, of the future again. Uh, it, it helps him see the world in a much bigger way. It, it allows him to radiate out that Aquarius kind of energy that I'm feeling here with the King of Swords, Pisces. Um, I'm going to go into the King of Swords and the Fool. The star and the star energy can be a heavy energy because when you're in the star energy, you've let everything shine. You've let everything. Um, and it doesn't have to be everything. When I say everything Pisces, it doesn't have to be everything. Of course, not everything is going to be out there for everyone. Some things are very personally private within us and that's how they're meant to be. But when I'm talking about the star energy, I'm talking about you in a, in a place of understanding the importance of revealing your true self. And there's something here that uh, shines from within and these kinds of things that happen are not always meant to engage with the people around us in a way that's warm and comfortable. Sometimes when we bear our souls or sometimes when we open up to something new in our world, the people around us have a little bit of a problem with that because it creates ripples in their worlds. It creates their eyes to light up with new dimensions and with new possibilities or it it, it again with the star energy you as you reach for your star other people try to pull the arm down because if you reach for your star then how are they going to get their star they didn't even know they had a star it's that kind of a deep psychological thing that we have going on here pisces i don't want to stay too long in it um, but i do think that there's something here that's truly uh, very becoming for you very beautiful for you it's something that you know is a part of yourself um, how you're going to step into it and how you're going to do it. Now, that's another thing. Um, but I do think that you're feeling much better about it towards the end of the week. I do think they're feeling much better about it. There's been something here that's really lifted you, whether it's uh, a message that's come in, whether it's an offer of love that you're connecting to, whether it's a new freshness, a new idea, a new career, a new project. There's something here that's on the horizon for you, just how to do it and what to do and uh, how to engage. That's what you're in the, in the process of really trying to figure out here. So the heaviness in the beginning of the week, um, it, it starts to lift, and I would say by the end of the week, you're in a much better emotional position than you were in the beginning of the week. Although, I have to say, even in the beginning of the week, you have a lot of stability here. It's like you have two undercurrents going. You have the shadow of yourself, which is we all have that, and then you have the conscious mind. And I believe the conscious mind is here to help you to stay firm and to stay true. And then the, the underlying emotions and those inner being emotions that you're working through, those will... Uh, fix themselves as you move forward into this situation. Um, Pisces, I am going to move to the extended reading now because um, 
I just feel like it's it needs to continue moving forward. I I'm getting pulled to this fool again. Let me see here this fool energy again. It's interesting that I said the word again. This might be something you might be trying for the second time. The lover's energy flipped over. It might be something you're trying for like the second time or something. Um, hermit. Yeah, this is a, even though this is a full energy, this is a slow move. It's a very slow move. It's a very slow process for you because whatever you're doing here, it needs to be correct. It needs to be very precise. It needs to be just so. And I think that you have really taken some time or you're taking some time to really figure out how to do this in the best way. It's a Virgo energy. So you could be dealing with money. You could be dealing with um, um, being open-minded, but still needing to be grounded. All kinds of different things here. Let's look at the hangman real quickly. Three of Swords. Yeah. Page of Swords. You just don't want it to be painful. That's really the goal. Is it going to be painful? If it's going to be painful, then it's not worth it. That's what it feels like to me. Is there going to be pain here? Is there going to be pain here with this? Is this going to cause pain? Is this going to further my original pain? It's really about looking at the opportunity that's here, the dream that you have that's here, the capacities that you have, Pisces, and how to really put them into play here in this world, in this in the situation that you're in without causing pain or without feeling pain. And I think you're in the process of really trying to figure that out. It, it could be money. It could be family relations. It could be situations at work. But the pain situation, it's, it's like, do we really have to have it? Do we really want it? Does it really have to be part of our lives? I don't think so. I don't think it does. And I think that's what you're saying. Like, how am I going to do this in a way that's safe and secure, in a way that's loving, in a way that's kind and compassionate? And in some way, like you're questioning that. Why do we have that question? Why is that question there? Why is it there? Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords is talks about not knowing when to stop. Right. And when it's so hard, when do we stop? When do we keep going? What do we do when we're in situations that are ultimately so very difficult? And I do think, Pisces, that you have learned how to pull yourselves out of situations that are too difficult. You're realizing like you don't have to stay. You don't have to stay in pain. You don't have to stay um, somewhere. Um, if it's too cruel, if it's too heartless, you don't have to. It's, it's, it's nice to be able to pull yourself away from those situations. But what do you do when you start a new situation? How do you keep from going right back into that same pattern? And I do think that's really what you're really doing now is, okay, how can I structure this? How can I do this? Um, so that it can be done in the Ten of Cups energy rather than in the Ten of Swords energy. All right, my friends, I am going to take a break and move forward, move this energy forward in to see how the next few weeks go. We're going to pull money too, and we're going to pull love cards too. We're going to see what else we can find out um, about Pisces and about this group of people that are kind of pushing through um, something here that's been hard for them. All right, Pisces, thank you very much for being here. Uh, thank you for supporting my readings, and um, I appreciate uh, reading for you, Pisces. It's always a pleasure to read for you. All right. Thank you very much.